I have really been enjoying the new storybook nursery kit. Now, I will preface this video with saying I am not a builder, so please do not come for me in this video. But I wanted to redo one of the rooms with the new stuff from the kit and see if it's functional, you know, because there was a lot of questions about functionality. So I went into the Michelsons' house, which if you remember, the Michelsons was the family that came pre-made with the Growing Together expansion pack. And so I wanted to take advantage of them already having an infant in their household. So baby Orion is the infant for this household. And so I wanted to try to use some of the new infant furniture specifically from the pack because the pack came with the bassinet, a crib, and a toddler bed. So you can actually do any of those age groups. But since Orion's already an infant and I didn't want to age her up, I just kept, you know, just kind of kept the infant theme going. So I made it kind of a girly room, kind of took the princess theme. Um, there's a ton of swatches, I will say. I love that they have a lot of greens and yellows and oranges. If you want more neutral colors or if you want to have the gothic, you know, black themed kind of nursery stuff. Or if you want to have the princess girly, you can either do all pink or they have a pink with like a pale blue mixture, which I thought was kind of interesting. So I actually really liked it. I thought that it was a beautiful kit made by uh, Sixum CC. So I like that they're having creator kits with custom content creators because you can tell the quality is there. Like everything is high poly. Everything looks really polished, looks really stable. And it looks like what it's supposed to look like. It looks like the pictures, the renders that they released ahead of time, which I appreciate. So for those of you who are curious about what's functional, the rocking chair does work. So previously you had to get the rocking chair from like Nifty Knitting or Horse Ranch or Growing Together had a rocking chair too, I think. But now this new rocking chair from the kit is functional. So if you don't have any of those other packs, you can definitely use a rocking chair. The infant mat thing, it is functional. So the infant mats came with Growing Together, which was the expansion pack that came out right after infants was released as a base game update the problem with the playing mat from this kit is that you can't do tummy time so you can put the baby on the mat and the baby can like play with toys look at toys or like go to sleep on the mat but you can't actually do tummy time on the mat so i guess that's locked behind growing together it's a little disappointing but i guess that makes sense of uh, you know if you're not paying for the 40 dollars expansion pack you don't get that part of the gameplay you can use the changing table and you can even upgrade it like you would do the other changing table to put straps on it so the baby can't move so i mean everything else seems to function the way it's supposed to function and then i did point out in my previous video but the picture frame only comes with 12 swatches of various babies with different ethnicities you can't actually put your own picture in uh, so i was also kind of disappointed with that but besides those two everything else worked fine i think it's a great pack you should definitely get this kit even if you're not a kit lover i feel like there's so much you can do as a generational player having this kit let me know in the comments below what you think and again please don't come for me for the building i am not a builder